There's a guy up on the roof um, and the house in back of us and he see he's got a cable to tie him in case he falls. It's like a really, really high roof. I mean, it's just, see his ladder over there, I just saw him go up. The other day he was up there and the kids were talking to him and I told him to stop talking to him because I was afraid they'd distract him and he'd fall and he could kill himself. Um, hopefully he doesn't and he's, you know, the cable helps him and all that. But um, we had a governor who was fixing something on his roof before and I guess he didn't have a cable or anything on uh, our governor, Kenny Gwynn, years ago and he fell off his roof and he died. That was just really sad. They very There's scared. two guys up there and they're working on, I think they're putting up solar panels. That has got to be such an interesting job just to learn all about that and to install it. Kind of dangerous though, I'm sure it's you know pretty skilled. I was having watermelon this morning as I was taking a quiet moment before I woke up the boys and I had some music on and I'm watching the beach here. As I was answering some questions in this book here um, by Dina Duvay, I really do like this. At first I thought, oh, this is going to be kind of hokey, but, um, but this is a really neat little book, you know, Become Who You Were Meant to Be. And it's just about discovering your dreams, and it has like this, these work pages back here that you have to like spend time answering questions on, and at the end of that time, you find out, you know, like your top five gifts and goals and really it, it gives you a little bit of an insight on how, how to go about achieving those things and it's just really neat but um, you really definitely do have to take some time for reflection and, you know, prayer, meditation, you know, just really looking inward too. Something that neat. my family really likes is baked goods, especially the kids, um, and I want them to be able to grab something and it not be bad for them. So this recipe, um, it's oil-free chocolate zucchini muffins, and it comes out of the book, The Oshi Glows. This cookbook. is the stuff I'm putting in it, and I'll type it in the direct the description box in case you want to make these. Um, I've got two cups, and I'm doing a gluten-free version. She uses a whole wheat pastry dough, I believe. And a flour and I'm using two cups of the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour which seems to really give me a good texture on a lot of baked goods. I've got a third cup of, I'm using this uh, cacao powder. Um, you could use powdered cocoa. A third cup of whatever kind of sugar you have. I'm using this one here. It's an evaporated cane juice. And then um, I've got the one tablespoon of the flaxseed meal and three tablespoons of water sitting here a cup and a quarter of non-dairy milk and I've got um, I believe it was two teaspoons of lemon juice which I actually added to make kind of a vegan buttermilk and then I've got um, a half teaspoon of sea salt one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of uh, vanilla three tablespoons of uh, maple syrup and then I'm going to be using one and a half cups of, I mean, sorry, one and a quarter cups of grated, lightly packed zucchini. And then I'm going to be using one third cup of the mini chips. And I'm using these ones from Enjoy Life. Um, these are really good. And they're kind of like a dark chocolate taste. Okay, so I'm going to mix so it together. I, and by the way, I preheated the oven to 350. So basically, it's super easy. I'm just going to put all the dry ingredients in one bowl all the wet ingredients in another bowl, and then I'm gonna add the zucchini last. Um, so, dry ingredients are mixed, wet ingredients are mixed. I'm gonna put the wet into the dry and then stir it up. And I actually left out about a third or two thirds cup of um, chopped walnuts because I just kind of wanted to keep the fat down in this. I didn't want to add any more, uh, but that might actually be a nice flavor if you're looking for something, maybe during the holidays, you know. Add some walnuts in, there's a zucchini, and just to let you know, you could use apple cider vinegar instead of the lemon juice too, so it would be just as fine. And so these, and I'm just going to fold these in, both of these things, and then I'm going to get my um, muffin tin ready, and I don't usually use papers for these low-fat, non-fat 
threads because then when you peel the paper, all the muffin comes off with it. Um, you know, you have to wait for them to totally cool and then you've probably got a better chance. So I use a muffin tin that's just been prepared, you know, kind of like oiled and floured with gluten-free flour and they pop right out even when they're warm. All right, so they are ready to go in and I'm going to bake them in the 350 oven for about 17 minutes, 15 to 17, until they spring back to the touch. And I'm a little worried about them cooking because the batter is a little bit, um, it's like pancake batter and muffins are usually a little thicker than this. So wish me luck. They, are, they sprung up really nice. When I just opened it up and it's really hot, but a uh, really good texture. And now I'm gonna do a All taste right, test. Isaiah and Mr. Fruity just came home. Isaiah got a new haircut. And so did Dad. <laughs> and so I'm testing these on them. And you have to tell me, do you like it? Yeah. Can you take a bite? It's pretty hot still, isn't it? Very careful. Mm. You like it? Mm. What do you think, honey? Delicious. <laughs> Are you serious? Chocolatey. No? Yeah. Really good. Yeah, you like it? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thumbs up.